Another one of my favorites regarding abundance during this time comes from the book of Joel, where it says, And it will come to pass in that day that the mountains shall drip with new wine, the hills shall flow with milk, and all the bricks of Judah will, shall be flooded with water. A fountain shall flow from the house of the Lord and water the valley of Acacias. People who survive the tribulation period and enter into this kingdom in their mortal bodies will live long lives just like they did back in the days of Noah. Those of us in Christ who have been resurrected or raptured will enter in our immortal transformed bodies. But there will Okay. Just so you heard that correct, she claims there are going to be people in the bodies that we're in now living among people that are in their glorified bodies and the bodies that we will be in after the end of the world when Jesus comes in, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye we are changed from our corrupted corruptible bodies into our incorruptible bodies so essentially you have people having sex living among people that are in their glorified bodies there will be believers at the end of the tribulation period who survived that will enter the kingdom in their mortal bodies and these people will still be having children which is how the and earth these, will be repopulated these people will be having sex all right what in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage but are as the angels of god in heaven so this thing that she's she's being honest about what she believes but this is sickening so you're saying that there are resurrected people living among people that are having sex all right and therefore they still have the opportunity to be saved and therefore you can tell people today to wait you don't have to believe in Jesus just wait for this time period where not only will you see those of us that are saved transformed into our glorified bodies but you'll be able to live 12 times longer you'll be as old as 900 years you'll have all this time available for you to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ you don't have to believe in him now just wait wait until he comes and we are changed in a twinkling of an eye in a moment and so shall we ever be with the Lord now okay here's the problem all right Daniel 12 verse 2 many of them that sleep in the dust of the year shall awake some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt this is happening at the same time when we are lifted up to be with the Lord we are changed and the, the whole world is changed now you go to Genesis 3 verse 15 I will put enmity between thee and the woman, between thy seed and her seed, and it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. So when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven, we are lifted up to be with him. We are up in the air, and our enemy is gathered at our feet, and all evilness, all wickedness is destroyed forever. This is a prophecy that goes all the way back to Genesis 3, verse 15, when Adam and Eve were still in the garden. All right. And Psalm 110, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. All right. This, it's directly 
parallel with what we read in Genesis 3 verse 15 all right in Revelation 3 verse 9 I will make them of the synagogue of Satan which say they are Jews and are not but do lie behold I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee they're going to be gathered together at our feet while we're up in the air and then fire comes down from God out of heaven and devours them all this is a prophecy consistent all throughout the Bible all right and there's not a time period where we're going to be transformed into our glorified bodies living among people who are not saved who are still having sex look why would men's hearts be failing them for fear if they were still going to be living after the end of the world they're not they know and you know that judgment day is when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven it is the end of the world if you're not saved you're not surviving it guaranteed populated during this time although these people entering the kingdom in their mortal bodies are believers the children that they have may not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and All right. so, do you need any more evidence or do you need any more at all to see how absolutely insane and wicked this doctrine of a millennial reign is it's a zombie doctrine you're saying that there are unsaved people there's still people dying and you're calling it a thousand years of peace still people having sex yet you call it a thousand years of peace you're saying that people are in pain suffering have you ever seen anybody die how the hell can you say that's peace people dying people having sex committing adultery fornications lying deceivers this is not peace at all all right and then of course you'll hear me ask the question what happens when this thousand years of peace is over all hell breaks loose it's insane man it does not make any sense at all.